Shortly after the Eiffel Tower was built in Paris, and before the Wright brothers even thought about flying, when men dressed like this, women and children dressed like this, and people commuted to work this way, an intrepid businessman named R.T. Forsyth and his vision for the remote bushland north of Sydney consumed a small timber office in the corner of Penshurst and Clan William Street. It's October 1st, 1898, and one of Sydney's first real estate offices north of the harbour is open for business. That office is still open for business today, 110 years later. It's still a family business, and incredibly, it is still the same family's business. This is a brief history of Forsyth Real Estate and the five generations who have lived and worked in the community their family helped create. Robert Todd Forsyth has been described as the father of the North Shore. You know, I can remember Mr Forsyth and he stood up in his own car which is a very old fashioned and modern looking car <laughs> as cars were in those days but he sold it off block for block and at the end of the day, I guess the man was very tired but very satisfied with his day's work. As auctioneer and real estate agent, he sold land to the area's first residents. But his involvement in the community ran much deeper than that. He was an alderman for 28 years and served as mayor 11 times and vice president of the committee that formed the Royal North Shore Hospital. He was a prolific donor to charities and giver of land to the community. His wife Annie was awarded an MBE for services to the community, the Red Cross, the Martyr Hospital and the Royal North Shore Hospital. And when RT passed away in 1939, his son James assumed the reins. The bridge had opened the community to development. Wars came and went and the North Shore had emerged as one of Sydney's most desirable neighbourhoods. When James handed the reins to his son Michael in 1980, during his tenure, property values in the area soared people became millionaires simply by owning their homes. Michael ran the family business for almost 20 years until he handed the reins to his younger sister Margaret and her son James in 1999. Margaret joined the business as a receptionist in 1980. She embodies the multi-generational lineage of the family business. Um, I've now worked with my father, Jim Forsyth, my brother, Michael Forsyth, and now my son, James Snodgrass. She has seen the business revolutionised by technology. Well, on my first day here, which was 30 years ago, I saw an electric typewriter on my desk and I was quite nervous about this. Now, we have wonderful, the technology is astounding with machines with memory. That in itself, I think, astounds me. The history of Forsyth real estate mirrors the history of property in the area. In 1898, a block of land here was worth just 30 pounds. In 1940, you could buy a block of four apartments near North Sydney Station for just 3,200 pounds for the whole block. The great legacy of this extraordinary family business now falls upon James Snodgrass and an even younger generation already being groomed for a future in the real estate business. We're proud of our history, a fourth generation and uh, chances that a fifth generation might come into the business. That's pretty rare in this day and age. There's hardly a week goes by where someone doesn't talk about a fantastic experience they had with Forsyth, and it's not like many businesses that talk about it um, last year or the year before. This might have happened 50 years ago when, when uh, one of my uh, family helped someone during the war. Today, Forsyth Real Estate is a modern enterprise, such a far cry from its low-tech roots so long ago. But it retains the character, integrity and intrepid spirit of its pioneering forebears. The, his, the history of Forsyth is also the history of Sydney for the last hundred years. Um, they've survived world wars, depression. I remember grandfather t telling me about how people used to pay the rent with um, rabbits. Uh, I got recommended um, by my father, uh, who had also dealt with uh, RT Forsyth. And uh, I would recommend it onto my friends and uh, my little ones when they come along. Just professionalism was, I've dealt with a couple of different agents in, in the North Shore and they're probably the most professional out of the lot that I've dealt with. But to last 110 years in any business means you know what you're doing. They're a great agency and we've um, done business with them on a number of occasions and still do business with them um, all the time and um, they, I couldn't speak more highly of them. They're, they're a great company to deal with. 
For us, this used to be a four-man team. Uh, now it's uh, 40 people over three offices managing and selling hundreds of millions of dollars of property. We're proud of our history, fourth generation and um, chances that a fifth generation might come into the business. That's pretty rare in this day and age. However, you can't rely on that. People, you know, people when they're selling a home, they want to know who's going to handle their um, their business professionally, who's going to look out, who's got the latest and greatest, and that's for us. Its modern head office is on Penshurst Street, fittingly adjacent to the corner of Forsyth Street, named after the business's grand patriarch and in honour of a family that has poured so much into this community.